Hey guys, so the AGL type banner is here. I figured I'd go ahead and make a summon video on this. If I'm going to summon, I might as well record it and put it up on the channel. Um, so the AGL Pan and Rildo are awakening. They're both obviously very, very good uh, once they awaken all the support units. The 40% supports that are awakening to 50% are all very, very, very good once they awaken. Um, so my current status is I have Pan at two paths unlocked. And I have Rildo at zero pads unlocked, so I need a total of six um, of both of them. Um, I need two pans and four Rildos. I currently do have 1,041 blue coins. So if we can pull three, like uh, any three of these, then I can buy the re you know, the other three with the red, with the sorry with the blue coins because they uh, each cost uh, 300 blue coins in the shop. So. That would be good so I can make use of those coins and just save some stones if possible. This is one of those banners where it is split. The rate is split 70-30. So it's 7% for featured and then 3% for unfeatured. In terms of unfeatured units that I could use at this point, I actually can use, I checked, I, I actually do need an extra pair of LR Kaelin Khalifa. I thought I had them done, but I did not. So one more pair of them would be good and then maybe a pair of uh, baby Vegeta would be good as well I don't have him maxed out I, don't, I only need one more of him uh, and then I actually also need a uh, copy of nail as well so he is sitting there at three dupes but other than that that's pretty much all I could use on this banner um, it is only seven featured units so I think this shouldn't be too bad let's go ahead and just jump in here I have 500 stones so that's 10 multis hopefully we can pull maybe if we can pull two i'd be happy i guess there's probably a featured unit coming in this one the goal is to get well, if i pull three pans i'll be pretty upset because i can only use two uh but the goal is to get a combo of three any three of the two uh support units and then we'll be good because we can buy the rest with coins so there's cell jr do not need him i think he's featured Oh, there's Pan. Okay. Um, I only need one more Pan now. Don't give me two Pans before a Rildo. If I can pull a Rildo, then we're good. <laughs> Mosh and Vegeta. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there you go. That wasn't even the last slot. That's kind of crazy because, again, it is a 3% unfeatured for SSRs. <laughs> that was a pretty insane multi to start things off. So we'll lock you up. And like we just need um, one pan and one roll down. We're good. I thought it was just going to be Chrome alone. It's been so long since the last time I summoned on the type banners because the first awakenings were the int uh, units. I just could fly. I don't know if she's featured. I don't remember. Um, the last banner was the int banner, and I already had uh, both units already rainbowed before the awakenings came out, so I didn't have to summon on the banner. So, it has been a very long time. Like, I'm talking years since I last summoned on the type banner. There's West Kai. There's another pan, okay. <laughs> okay, so pan is done. Please don't give me another pan. Cell <laughs> Jr. This is a lot of, of units, a lot of SSRs. This guy just got his awakening on JP. He's insane now. He's like honestly probably one of the best units in the game for Extreme Super Battle Road. So Pan is done. Please just give me one rail though and we can walk out of here. Don't don't give me more pans, please. Just go, Han. So that last multi wasn't that was that wasn't a uh, a good animation, right? We just pull all those SSRs. Alright, I have faith here. This one's not looking too good. <laughs> Echo 10. What are the odds we pull them twice? Um, okay. Let's keep going here. 18 and Piccolo is not really a combo you want to be seeing. It is base form. If it is a double screen crack, that means we're getting an LR. But uh, I don't really care. I mean, we. At this point, once you have three dupes unlocked for a unit, the getting the fourth copy really doesn't impact anything that much, so... 
obviously will take them. I'd be very happy if I pulled an LR that I needed, but I'm not gonna shed a tear over not pulling one. Okay. There's Raditz. It's probably another dead multi here. There's Frieza. He's actually not featured. Yeah, okay, he's lost a lot. Alright. Just need one real though. That's all I need. Tien or Trunks and Chaozu. At least if I don't pull one copy of Rildo here, um, I can do like like six more multis, and then I'll have enough coins to buy four copies. <laughs> so, I mean, that's like worth. Okay, there it is. <laughs> I was about to say that would, that would be worst case scenario, but there we go. Rildo is now completely done. Honestly, that's a, that's a pretty big win for me. Um, that was pretty effortless, honestly. I was so scared we were just going to continuously pull Pan over and over again. And there's 17. Okay, so now we are done, I think. Let me go ahead and just um, reverse. Uh, where's Pan? Uh, God, I've, I have to organize my box so much better than this. This is... Where the hell is Pan? I know I'm missing her, she's like right in front of me. Oh wait, I can't even reverse them, not even Dokkan yet, I'm so stupid. Okay, let's go to the hit potential. Let's do this. Unlock your paths, just so that I have this set up. Alright, so we'll do this. And we'll unlock the bottom left. And then for Rildo... For Roldo, we can also unlock his bottom right, and then we can buy the other three copies that we um, that we need. So you are going to unlock this path, and we can go to Baba, and we can go to Blue Coins, and we can buy three copies of you. I think I have reached the limit, so I need to be right back real fast, sell some units. Okay, we're back, and now we can buy three copies of you. And you will now be done. Um, let's go back to the hidden potential system, unlock your dupe paths. I have to decide how I want to build this guy because he does seal. And I believe he does greatly raise his defense once he Dokkan awakens as well um, for one turn on super attack, uh, which can be really, really, really good. Let's just see, make sure that's correct. Um, Greatly, oh, greatly resist attack and defense for one turn. I thought it was just defense. Okay, that's actually... Uh, honestly, this guy is probably, I would say, one of the better um, awakenings for the uh, type units. I mean, they're all very good, but I think this guy... There's something about him that stands out. Obviously, the ceiling is huge. Um, Extreme AGL has gotten a huge boost lately with all the units that have been coming out for it. Um, I mean, this guy's... I'm probably going to go crits. I think I might just go 15-11 because that's the patented thing you usually do with AGL units. Um, and 11 additional, honestly, is pretty sufficient. Um, and this guy critting is going to obviously do a lot more damage. And additionals for ceiling doesn't do anything, so... I think I will go um, the crits. But, th but for Pan, let's go, go ahead and take a look at what Pan does. Um, once Pan awakens, they need to the GT... I can actually awaken her right now, but we'll just take a look at this. So Pan is one of the few units in the game who actually raises allies' attack by 25% for two turns. This is similar to... Um, what other units do this? This is similar to the LR Great Salmon 1 and 2. Um, and there's a few other units that do that. I just can't remember off the top of my head right now. But uh, this is a very potent effect uh, if you pair it up with counter units. And uh, so you run this this pan alongside the AGL Super Vegito that just easy eight on global, and his counters are going to be doing a lot more damage. They'll be, they'll be, well, not a lot more, but there'll be a noticeable difference if you can have this effect, uh, you know, ongoing when he's uh, being attacked a bunch of times. So I think once Extreme Super Battle comes out for global, which I think should happen probably during the anniversary because GP got it during same day, and we're obviously not going to have that again for global. Um, so once that comes out for global, I'm going to actually go ahead and take this pan alongside the Super Vegito uh, AGL into uh, that mode, and we'll see how much of a difference that makes. This pan is also, I mean, all these guys are going to have insane amounts of defense just from collecting the orbs that they create, and uh, they're all very, very good. So, again, I don't recommend anybody summon on this banner, 
we do have the um, Goku Day stuff coming. I think it's I think it's a go technically a Goku Day celebration. Uh, there were tickets data mined in the latest update that showed um, like basically the the dual dual confess tickets. Uh, everyone's presuming that they're Goku and Majin Vegeta, which like ninety nine point nine nine repeating percent that they are. So they should be coming in the next week or week and a half ish. Um, so definitely don't summon on this banner. I recommend people don't summon on that banner either. Um, just because we're so close to the anniversary at this point. It's only two months away. So, I mean, unless you're like a die-hard Goku or Majin Vegeta fan, I probably would say don't summon. But, uh, I mean, you can do whatever you want, I guess. But uh, this was a pretty good win for me. We were, we were able to save 263 stones. So, <laughs> I'll take it. I'll, I'll take all the stones I can get. Um, but we will be back. Uh, I'll definitely be doing showcases on the pan and Roldo. So hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you all in the next one.